Mike and here I am today. I'm going to help you out a little bit. I've had a lot of trouble. My Harley Ultra Classic right here, it's got 33,000 miles on the clock and I've been having trouble with my turn signals. And for the longest time my turn signals stop working occasionally on me and lo and behold I'll be out on a ride. I'll get about a block away from home and my turn signals quit working. And I've done a lot of research. I've gone everywhere a guy can think to go, trying to figure out what's wrong with this Harley Davidson. So I'm going to show you what I found. I'm going to go into my storage room here in a minute. It's kind of a mess, so please bear with me. So here we come. We come to the manual. And I look at the manual. By the way, this is a Harley manual for Touring Model 2000 Harley Davidson. And by the way, let me just real quick show you a receipt here. I'm looking at this receipt where a pre appeal previous owner has had to go and had their diagnostic done on turn signals. They had trouble with this, and I don't see the date right off on this thing, but I'm sure there's a date. Uh, looks like it was December of 2000, evidently. And so this guy's had trouble with my Harley Ultra Classic for quite some time. So now I bought the bike and I'm having trouble. So I go to my Harley manual and I start looking for turn signal problem issues and how to fix them. And the first thing I did was I came to the very back to troubleshooting. And I looked at the troubleshooting guides and I tried to figure everything out. I got my testers, did all the work they said to do. I uh, ohmed and checked and I spent a lot of time and I came across this page and it says there's this thing called a turn signal module. And yeah, you could probably snap a picture of these pages and you can probably see what they say in the way of, you know, all the things you want to measure and check, like you, your module, you know, you want to, but anyway, it's, it's a big complicated thing, but let me show you what I found. I got online, I started researching, Carly Davidson has this little goodie called a turn signal module it's 68540 96 is the part number and this is the module and this module has like kind of a plastic resin like epoxy on the back and this is the front it's quite a simple little gadget and i'm going to show you where you find this guy and we're going to show you how i fixed my problem you know everybody quit trying to say well maybe it's one of your turn signal switches is bad Maybe you've got a bad switch. Maybe you've got bad light bulbs. Maybe you've got a short. Maybe you've got a problem. I've already took the liberty of undoing the thumb screw on my seat, so it'll just pop right out when I pull it out. Here we go. And I'm getting ready. I'm going to pull it out right now and get him out of the way. Excuse me for the bad scene right here because I don't have a photographer today. So looking without a seat. By the way, I'm going to plug this battery real quick. Mega crank, man, does that work? Has so many more cranking amps in it that I'm, I'm not selling those, I'm just telling you about it. I really liked it. So, as I start looking, I find that right down in this little hole, right in front of your battery, I'm going to go to it, is the control module. And the reason I able, was able to find it was I noticed that right down here, let me find where my finger is, I was able to get the part number and write it down, this number right here. I went to Harley, to dealers, and I looked for it, I looked for it, and it's really expensive. Now let me show you what the real problem is. Harley, in all their infinite wisdom, you can see it right there. If I come right down here, you see that there's a valve cover. I guess that doesn't work so good up close. Let me come down further. That valve cover is right here, just beneath where this turn signal module, oh come on, is mounted. And that turn signal module gets hotter than blazes. So I'm going to pause this video. Well, I don't know if I can pause it. Nonetheless, I'm going to go get me a wrench. What I've got is a 3 8 ratchet with a quarter inch adapter and I went down to an 11 millimeter socket. So for those of you that don't like metric because you've you got an American Harley, I'm gonna unbolt this. You can figure out your own self what, which, uh, which size American SAE you'd like to use for a, a wrench. So I'm undoing the one bolt that holds this together. This is kind of hard to do single handed so you'll forgive me I don't make a lot of videos. Okay, so I took the bolt out, set it right there where it doesn't get lost. 
Now pull the module out, and you'll notice that this module has one cable connected. You push these little tabs on either side down, and hang on just a second. You pull that baby out of the plug. So now what I've got, I've got my plug just hanging there. See it? This is what it looks like on the bottom of it. So you know you've got the right plug. This is what the module looks like that came out. If you look at the back, there's no shine. It's all flat and it looks like it's been burnt or hurt a bunch. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. This is the old module. Now we're going to go into my storage room again. And we're going to see, compare it to the new module. One's pretty dark, pretty ugly. The other one's brand new. And look at how shiny that is on the back there. It looks like an epoxy finish of some sort. They have exactly the same part number on both modules. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to install this baby. Matt, come here and hold this for me, would you? Thank you. So I'm going to have my assistant hold this camera for me. And I'm going to show you how I install this. It's a very simple thing, folks. You just simply plug the module in. Make sure it's in there real good. Start my, my bolt in there. And I'm going to put it down in a hole where it goes. I'm going to start the bolt in. Nope, I'm having trouble lining it up, but we'll get it here in just a second. We got a lot of big trucks around here. We live right next to a highway, so you have to bear with us, folks. See if I can get this baby started here. I'm having a little bit of trouble lining everything up. And this is the same exact module that came out, and for some reason I'm having a little trouble. Maybe if I turn it the other way. And you might have a little trouble as well. Here we go, starting now, I think. Okay, I want to turn this module so that it's like it was when it came out. We're going to go ahead and ratchet that down tight. Okay, there we go. Snug it down real good. You don't want to get it too tight and break your module. Okay, so let me just explain to you. You see those little holes right down in here behind this module where you can see down into this opening, right? Come on, where's my camera? Right here, there's a, like a hole. If you were to look on the other side, let me take you around and show you what it looks like on the other side. You've got a valve cover right here. And I mean, this is how thin it is. You can barely get your finger in there. And just on the other side, right here's your module. See, there's the bolt that I ran in, right? Let me see if I can get it where you can look at it. That bolt is right here at the tip of my finger and that shadow's causing you not to see it very good. But that's why you're losing turn signal modules. So if you've been having trouble and nobody can tell you why my turn signals quit working all of a sudden, now you know how to fix it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up. You might even want to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I sure appreciate you watching. Bye.